Track and Field was released from the Nintendo Entertainment System in April of 1987. Developed and published by Konami, Track and Field is a game that features a number of various Olympic events. This 1987 release is a port of the 1983 arcade game by the same name. The game consists of eight events, the 100 meter dash, long jump, 110 meter hurdles, javelin throw, skeet shooting, triple jump, archery, and high jump. For the most part, these events involve hammering on the A button, which will either make you run faster or fill a power bar. The two odd man out events are the skeet shooting, where you need to time button presses when the clay pigeons enter your aiming squares, and archery, where you shoot at a moving target. The game has the illusion of having a lot to do, but there really isn't much, and most of the gameplay feels the same with the exception of the two shooting rounds. Unfortunately, the two shooting events don't really feel great, especially the skeet shooting event, which feels really clumsy and hard to get a grasp on. Graphically, Track and Field features really simple environments with well-animated sprites. If the sprites didn't look so good, it could be easily confused with an early black box game, but the great sprite work sets it leagues ahead. Track and Field's soundtrack is bare bones with music on its title screen and only a handful of fanfares before each event. The title music's great as it's an 8-bit rendition of the song Chariots of Fire, however you can take points away as it's a cover and not original. So overall the soundtrack is lacking, especially for a Konami title. Overall, if you're really into button mashing, Track and Field might be the game for you, but objectively there really isn't that much to do in this game. The entire game can be seen in about 10 minutes, and if your skill can be beaten in that amount of time as well. Track and Field is best played with a friend, as the replay value falls apart quickly if you play the game alone. That being said, this game is recommended if you and a friend want to destroy some NES controllers by mashing the buttons. Nest Chronology is a Patreon-supported show, and would not be possible without the support of its patrons. If you'd like to support the show and receive some perks, click the logo and give what you can.